Hi. Now in this tutorial what I want to show you is how we can find the length of a side of a triangle using the cosine rule. Now if you've got generally a non-right angle triangle and you want to find the length of any one of these sides let's say we were trying to find the length of say this side here let's label it X then providing you know the other two sides, their lengths, let's say this side is 7.2 meters say and this side here is 5.3 meters and also that you know the angle opposite the length you're trying to find, that's this angle over here let's just mark that in, let's say that that angle there was 58 degrees now if you've got this kind of information in a triangle then you can find out this length by using the cosine rule. And the cosine rule basically goes like this that if you want to find that length x you square it, you got x squared and it equals the sum of the squares of the other two sides. So in other words 7.2 squared plus 5.3 squared. It doesn't end here but it doesn't matter if you were to write 5.3 squared plus 7.2 squared it's going to be exactly the same answer here. So x squared equals the sum of the squares of the other two sides. Okay, Then it's minus 2 times the product of the other two sides. The product means that we just times these two sides together. Again it doesn't matter what order you do it in 7.2 times 5.3 or 5.3 times 7.2 you're going to get the same answer there. And it gets the name the cosine rule because what you need to do here is times this by the cosine, or cos for short, of the angle that's opposite the side that you're trying to find. So in this case, the cosine of 58 degrees. And there you have the cosine rule. All that's left to do is essentially just get on your calculator and work this out. Now I quite often find students making a mistake when they work this out. They have a tendency to do 7.2 squared plus 5.3 squared take away 2 times 7.2 times 5.3 and then press the equal sign. Do not do that. Okay, You've got to remember to times it by the cosine 58 before you press equals. So if you do do that sum on your calculator what you should find that you get is 39.4865 and so on. So just type it in as 7.2 squared plus 5.3 squared take away 2.7.2 times 5.3 times cos 58 then press equals and you should get that. All right? Okay now to find out what x is because this is x squared we need to square root both sides so therefore x is equal to the square root of 39 0.4865 and so on. And if you do that you should find you get 6.283 and so on. And we need to give this to a suitable degree of accuracy so we can say well this, these measurements were given to one decimal place so I think we should give this to one decimal place and that would be 6.3 meters don't forget the units and don't forget the approximation that you've used so one decimal place. Okay, well let's just give you an example to try now. Okay, I've got another triangle here. So let's suppose we were going to find a length. Say it was this side this time. Okay, we'll call that x. Then what are we going to need? Well, if we're going to use the cosine rule to calculate x, We've seen that we need to know the lengths of the other two sides. So obviously that's that length and that length. So let's give this a length. Let's say we're working centimeters this time, 6.3 centimeters. And this length, 5.4 centimeters, say. We need an angle, and that angle must be opposite the side that you're trying to find. So that would be this angle here. And that would be 40 degrees. Okay, so 
what I would suggest is that you pause the video and come back in a few moments, restart the video and you can check your working with mine, see if you've got the right answer. Okay, welcome back if uh, you had a go and let's see how you got on. Well, using this idea up here, we want to find x, so x squared, let's just start up here, x squared is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides so again it doesn't matter which one we put down first of all let's start with the 5.4 5.4 squared plus 6.3 squared so x squared equals the sum of the squares of the other two sides now it's minus two times the product of the other two sides so that would be 5.4 times 6.3 and then we times it by the cosine of the angle that's opposite the side that we're trying to find. And in this example, it's 40 degrees. In the last example, I failed to mention that make sure your calculator, by the way, is always in degrees mode if you're handling degrees. So uh, I was assuming that that was the case. OK, just work this out all in one go on your calculator. Do remember to put this times in here, don't press equals as I said earlier, and you should find that you get 16.7283 and so on. Well that's x squared, we need x, so therefore to get x I need to take the square root then of 16.7283 and so on. What do you get if you do the square root of that? Well, you get 4.090 and so on. Always worthwhile making a check just to see whether that looks reasonable. And it does, OK, if this is drawn to a reasonable scale. And uh, let's round this up to, say, one decimal place. That's going to be 4.1. Don't forget the units, centimetres in this case, and the accuracy, one decimal place. OK, well, I hope you're getting the idea then of how we can calculate a length of a side of a triangle, providing we know the other two sides and the opposite angle. We do it by the cosine rule. Now, if you forgot the cosine rule, you generally, if you're sitting an exam, have got a formula sheet, which it's on, or if you were to see it uh, in a textbook, it would normally be given to you something like this. You'd see the standard triangle labelled A, B, C, that's the angles with a capital A, capital B, capital C, and the sides opposite the angles are given by corresponding small letters. So side opposite angle A is little a, side opposite angle B is little b, and the side opposite angle C is little c. And the cosine rule is often quoted as A squared equals B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cos A. And that's exactly what we've been doing here. And you'll notice I've not had to label the triangle. I've understood what the formula is trying to put across. That is, if you're trying to find a side, let's call it A, it's equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides minus twice the product of those two sides, the B and the C here, times the cosine of the angle that's opposite the side you're trying to find. OK, we're trying to find A, so there's our angle, big A, opposite A. All right, well, I hope that helps you, and that brings us now, anyway, to the end of this tutorial.